اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آئی ہوپ یو پیپل آر ڈوئنگ ویل اینڈ اللہ بلیسنگز آر وتھ یو ایز وی آر ٹرائنگ ٹو لرن آئی ان اے سسٹمیٹیکل مینر اینڈ وی اسٹارٹیڈ آئی Uh, tried my uh, level best to start it from uh, a pilot and then move on to the other structures from anterior to posterior part <coughs> so uh, we discuss we have discussed in videos till now eyelids uh, conjunctiva cornea ulcer uveitis and uh, lens uh, a bit of uh, important topics for undergraduates especially uh, and for post graduates also uh, we will repeat some topics like cataracts uh, but for today's video Uh, in this that sequence uh, i have chosen the topic uh, scleritis it is a very important cause of painful red eye and uh, patient comes with the complaint of uh, painful red eye in one or both eyes usually one eye it can be in one uh, part of the sclera which in medical language we call a pattern uh, scleritis or a patchy scleritis and uh, if it it is involving all of the sclera then we call it diffuse scleritis and uh, sometimes it attains the shape of a nodule we call it then a nodular scleritis and uh, nodular scleritis being uh, a nodule is relatively dif- difficult to treat uh, as uh, sclera develops from mesoderm embryologically so 45% of the cases are almost associated with rheumatoid arthritis or other connected to shoe diseases the bar rheumatoid arthritis is at the top of the list and in the treatment of scleritis uh, as in uh, rheumatoid arthritis we give we give ansets topical ansets can be given in mild cases but usually they are not so effective and uh, in clinical practice we start with uh, mild steroids like chloromethylone if uh, the scleritis is not very severe but uh, most of the times we have to give uh, strong steroids like de- dexamethasone or prednisolone eye drops in Uh, the form of eye drops or ointment and uh, total resolution usually takes uh, a month or so and it can be recurrent uh, but uh, the prognosis is usually very very good and if the posterior part of the sclera is not involved then real uh, the discrepancy or real disturbance is very rare and in posterior uh, scleritis uh, it may involve the choroid and uh, macula and other complications may occur so vn can be central vn can be affected but in uh, norm- normally we have seen in clinical practice the scleritis is usually on the nasal or uh, temporal part and vision is usually not affected here i would stop and i would love to see your comments so that uh, i would 
I may be able to make uh, videos on ophthalmology on the topics which you feel uh, you have got the questions or are need to be addressed. For now, thank you very much. Love.